I've been using chat GPT to create lessons in my class. So first thing you need to know, right? Here's a URL for what I've been using. So obviously I'll leave that in the description of this video. So that leads you to this page right here. So you can sign up, All right? It's gonna ask you to sign up. It's free so far, right? So hopefully that doesn't change, but if not, get as many things as you can from it right now, right? Cause it's, it's free and it's pretty awesome as you're gonna see. So you sign up, you can sign up with your Google account, for example, just log in as you, you would uh, be logging into your uh, Google account. So you go down here where it says send a message and then this is where you can ask it to do different things, right? So just to show you kind of the potential of it, because the way it works is kind of have to be specific, right? So I asked it to create a decision-based game to teach students about the Silk Road, create different outcomes based on their decisions on the different scenarios, right? So the reason why I already had it pre-made is because you kind of have to play around with it a little bit, right? Because if you don't, it's going to create different things and it's not really what you're looking for. So you kind of have to play around with it is what I've been learning these last couple of days that I've been using it, right? But it does a good job, right? It comes up with a little title and it tells you the instructions and basically, so as you can see, uh, see here, right? So this is exactly what I was looking for. So I wanted scenarios and different options for them to do. That way they can discuss with their partner as they're playing the game, right? So as you're a merchant in China, ready to embark on a journey to Rome before setting off, you need to make some decisions. So, right, option A, choose a shorter route, choose a long route. So you can do different things. And actually, now that I'm seeing it, and it, what's interesting is that it gives you different things every time you ask it, right? So I was asking it to do this earlier, and it gave me a different, a completely different game and a completely different lesson, if you will, right? So this one even comes... Wow. This one even comes with, you know, how you win and how you kind of win. And, you know, like it says, there's success, right? So this one's different. Now, if you want different things, right, if you try it out and you're like, no, nah, that's not what I was looking for, you can put regenerate response and then it'll come up with something else, right? So usually it's something that's kind of similar to what you're doing, what it came up with earlier, but it's a little different, right? So you see here, right, choosing your good. So this one's different. Okay, there we go. So this is what I wanted. This is what I was kind of thinking or in my mind of what I wanted it to create um, when I was asking it to do this, right? So I wanted different options, right? So yeah, it's very cool, right? Each item has different value and it comes up with this and you can even have it do, you can even edit it, right? So you can say, okay, um, uh, I want you to create point values based on their responses, right? So let's see if it's able to do that. Um, oh, oh, I think it's down here. Um, see, so now it's telling me the outcomes, right? If you choose spices, if you choose silk, if you choose jade. So again, it's really cool how it's able, it's able to do that, right? And, and this is how it learns, right? It says, was this response better or worse? So that's kind of how it's getting feedback. So this is still something pretty that's, you know, obviously pretty new. And with time, right, imagine the kinds of things that it can do, right? So this is a little... This example right here is one that's a little maybe more complicated, but look, this is definitely something that I can use uh, in my class, right? Now, for some more basic things, like, for example, reading passages, I used one uh, earlier for this. So let's say you wanted to um, create a uh, reading passage, uh, passage about the Civil War uh, for middle school students right and it's usually pretty good right obviously and it's pretty good right so it'll give you uh, some uh some information here as you can see and the main point of this is that you can also have a create questions which is really cool right so the text itself you know obviously the more specific you are the better that it's going to be right but this is something that is creating here you can tell it also how long you want the um the the reading piece to be all right, so this one's obviously very, uh, as you can tell, very uh, general because I wasn't very specific with what it was asking it to do. But I, what, I, what I wanted to show you guys more than anything, though, is also how you can also have it create questions, right? So that's obviously something that sometimes, you know, it's very simple to do, but time consuming sometimes. And so let's say right, this was what I decided to use as my article or my reading passage. I can be like, create reading passage or sorry create high level right because again you have to be specific with this right create high level comprehension questions 
for this reading, right? And then I could paste what I already had as my reading, and then it will start to create the questions, right? So again, that you know, it, it's definitely something that, from what I've seen so far, something that could definitely cut uh, or help you create a lot of those kind of more simple tasks, but also, as we saw earlier, some of the things that are a little more complicated, like creating a game, as we saw earlier, right? So again, obviously, you have to check through, you know, read through it and make sure everything is, is good um, and that it makes sense. But it does, like I said, a really good job. But even with things that are a little more creative in nature, let's say you wanted to do something uh, like the other day, I was like, okay, I want to do some sort of lesson on ninjas, right? Um, and I didn't really have a specific idea of what I wanted it to create what I wanted to create. So I started just asking it, right? So create, create a, a simulation game about ninjas, right? So again, very general and, you know, it starts creating things. So for what it created, well, like this one, Ninja Quest, a simulation game, character and customizer appearance, <laughs> variety of skills, stealth, combat, right? So this one's kind of more of a description of it, right? As you can see, but that what's kind of cool is you can regenerate, right? So if you're like, ah, oh, I don't really like that idea. You regenerate it and it creates something different, right? So you're gonna play the role of a ninja in training, right? You see how that's different now. You now it has gameplay, customizing your ninja's appearance. So sometimes some of the things might repeat a little bit, but now it's kind of different, right? Now it says training. Now we're gonna have missions that you're gonna do. So, but again, the reason why it's so general is because again, I'm not being specific, right? So once you kind of start getting ideas, then you can get more specific and more specific with it. And it can create, like I said, it's kind of like talking to someone. That's the way I've, I've noticed that, that it works really well. It's as if I was working with the colleague and we're trying to come up with a lesson and I'm bouncing ideas off of it, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what are other things that I can do and it leads me to different uh, concepts and ideas that I might want to do in a lesson and then I can ask it, oh, now maybe give me a point value for the different decisions that they make. So, so far, it's been a pretty cool tool, right? And um, one of my buddies, the, the reason why I started using it, Mr. Rowan, uh, he emailed me and he was he was telling us how he's been using it to uh, grade kind of the the essays that he, that he uh, has his students write. Right, so if you give it a rubric, and again, the more specific you are, the better with it, and it will grade it for you, right? Or at least uh, do the the feedback part, right? So that's the, the the way that I was kind of thinking about using it. It's like, oh, giving the students feedback. And one of my other um, colleagues was like, oh, we can have the students when they're done with their writing piece, put it on chat GPT, and then they can get the feedback for it, right? Based on the rubric in order to do kind of corrections, right? Before they submit it to us. So there's so much potential on how we can use ChatGPT to, uh, you know, help us create uh, create lessons and or even grading. As, as I said, that's definitely something else that that's very intriguing. So definitely, uh, if you guys have any ideas of how you guys can use this or have been using it, please let me know, because this is definitely something that can be very game changing uh, in the teaching profession.